this is Lister and welcome to another tutorial video I've put together for you. This one is for my little drowned farm. Um, you guys might have seen it uh, on my Skyblock uh, series that I did a little while back and uh, it works really well because the way that the uh, zombies turn into drowns, they drop all their armour and anything they're carrying 100% of the time. Very OP. You can get a lot of stuff from these guys, you really can. So um, what I've got here is I've got a little zombie spawner behind me there, look. And we're going to turn this into a zombie drowned farm, switchable, so that you can either have it as a zombie farm or as a drowned farm. And we'll uh, we'll do a few options at the end as well as to what sort of thing you can do with it. But uh, in the meantime, if we go and take a look, as you can see, it's uh, it's just a, a little dungeon spawner. Uh, no chests in it, nothing like that. It's just a spawner and currently lit up so that we can um, mess around with it. I'm just going to show you that I am in creative mode, but oh, we are on hard difficulty. So when they spawn, we will be getting some drops off them. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll get some good stuff. But first of all, we're going to go and get some tools in this chest here. We've got a few bits and pieces. I've given myself a pickaxe, which we're going to use. And, um, I mean, a lot of this stuff we'll, we'll use later on. Um, I'm going to take the torches because I don't want them spawning around me. Um, not while I'm building. They just kind of get in the way, really, you know. Uh, we will take the water with us because I'm going to do doing something with that. There was a sheet around here somewhere. Where's he gone? He's gone. I don't know. Right. Anyway, so what we're going to do to start with is we are going to uh, dig out this area. Um, as you can see, it's only like a five by five room and we need it nine by nine. So we've got to go out an extra two blocks in every direction, which is much easier in creative mode, obviously. Uh, and we're going to go the full height of the room. Now, what we do want to do at some point is put some blocks on top of here so we don't get anything spawning on top because that will reduce our spawn rates. But we'll deal with that afterwards because we're going to quickly dig out this room like that. So there we go. We have a... Oh, I didn't go quite far enough that way. Oh, how have I managed that? I thought I dug it out all properly. Look, uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, dear. Right. <laughs> Let me quickly knock this one out as well. And then we'll be in a position that we can actually do something about it. Right, there we go. Four by four, all the way around the spawner. So that's a nine by nine room. Wonderful. Okay. Um, now, what I have got in here is some wooden blocks. Because I noticed I, I made a couple of holes. So I'm going to fill these. Uh, yeah, it looks really ugly. I, I know your OCD is really kicking off now because that looks way out of... Oh, um, But hey, not worry. You won't see it. It's going to be in the dark and you won't be going in here. So don't worry about it. Right. Uh, next thing is to go down... Um, we're going to start by going down three. I think we'll actually go down four. Because what I want to do, I want to make sure that this area is clear. Obviously, with uh, a mob spawner, uh, they only spawn one block above and one block below the spawner. So it's like a three-layer area that they will spawn in. And we want to make sure that their heads are out of this three-block area, three-layer area, so that more can spawn. So, yeah, we want to go down a little bit so they've got a bit of a drop, get them out of the way of the spawning area, and it improves the efficiency. So we're going to take this down four layers, four blocks, um, like uh, that's three and that's four. So that's the layer we're going to go to. I'm going to knock all this out and then I shall come back to you. Right. So there is a nine by nine room, four blocks down from the spawner. Uh, next thing we're going to do, we're going to put these blocks on the top while we still can reach. So I'm going to put some extra torches on there and I'm going to get rid of that one. And we're going to take a couple of these ugly planks and put one there and one there. That stops anything spawning on the top. Right. Um, next thing we need to do is uh, we need to drop down here. Now, you've got to decide which way you want to uh, wash these uh, zombies. Um, now, the, obviously, the opening is over that way, so I'll probably do it over this side. So uh, as, as it is at the minute, it's a 9 by 9 area. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig out uh, an extra channel two blocks deep for the... Oh, we got a cave. Oh, that might be useful. Let me... Ooh. Ah, uh, didn't mean to do that. That means some more ugly wood. There we go. Uh, let's just have a look, quick look in here. Oh, it's like a, a tower. Yeah, we might be able to use this. We might be able to use this to our advantage. You've got to um, use what you've got. Obviously, in survival mode, you don't want, know what you're going to find until you start digging around. But that's that's going to be quite useful. So I think I'm going to wash them into this corner because that will give me... Uh, I can have a little stairwell or something there to get down to the killing chamber. Right, so we've got our area here now, which is now nine by eight, this area here. So what we want to do is put some water in. And I think what I'm going to do is, um, normally if you were doing this in, in survival mode, you would want to make sure that you've got a way out. So maybe I should put that in first. I didn't, did I? So, um, yeah, I think we'll make our little uh, stairwell area up to the surface so that we can get in and out. So give me a minute and I'll, I'm will i going to make something up here. So it's it's kind of safe and, and normal from your point of view. You know, we're not doing it. We're doing it sort of in creative, but you've got to be able to do build this thing. So I'm going to make us a little um, stairwell up here and I will be back shortly. So I've made myself a little staircase here just so I can get down to where the spawner is. I can see nothing's changed in here yet, but we've got just a very simple staircase, just block, block, block all the way down. Um, you could pretty this up, you know, you can make it nice with slabs or stairs or something like that. But uh, this, is, this is just easy for me so I can get down and I can get back up again while I'm building. Okay, now then, um, since I've got some stone in my inventory, I'm going to change that for a piece of stone. There we go. Looks a bit better. Now, um, what we're going to do here, obviously, is this is the drop chute for us. There's the uh, wash platform here, and then they come down here, and they'll get washed into this corner. Now, I'll show you why that is, because I'm going to get up here, put that back again. Right, so we're going to put some water. Um, if you were doing this in survival mode, you'd make a little infinite water source so that you can uh, do this and run backwards and forwards. I'm obviously in creative, so I'm just going to do the this way. All the way along there, all the way along that back wall, and everything will get washed off into here. There we are. So, yeah, as you can see, water right to the edge. So that everything will get washed into here. Now, the next part of it is, oh, um, unless you didn't realise, it's too deep so that they can't jump back out again. So they might come uh, bobbing along here. When they land here, they'll come bobbing along this way, but they can't get back out again. You see? And they're going to get washed over to here, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a block of... Oh, hang on. I better block this up first before we get wet. And I'm going to make a little area there. Right. So if I put um, water here, as you can see, it goes right to the edge and stops here. So everything that spawns is going to get washed into this corner. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock out a drop chute. And now the... Depth of this drop chute will dictate the how this works properly. And we also need to knock out that block there because we need to be able to get around that side. And I'll show you that in a minute. But this is going to be the drop chute. So we want this, uh, I don't know, about five deep, something like that. Um, that. That will be good enough. They're not really going to take a lot of fall damage from this. I don't think it would work if you dropped them 20 blocks and then drowned them. I'm pretty sure that doesn't work. I must admit, I haven't actually tried it. So feel free to tell me I'm wrong. But if we drop them down there and then turn them into drowned, I don't think they hold their damage. So five blocks down should be enough, um, which is 59. Right. So if I go down to level 59, which is here. So oh, let me just fill this in a little bit so we can... It may well be that I take these out again, but just for the time being, um, I'm going to knock out around here because I want to be able to get to that that chute from both sides. Let me quickly knock this out. Uh, 
yeah, here we are. Right, so this is the bottom of the chute that I just knocked out. Um, and I need to be able to get at that block. That's the one. Right. Um, that's that block I knocked out, if you recall. I knocked it out on that side there. Um, with a very good reason as well. But first of all, I want to... Uh, this is where they're going to land. So we want to uh, break out an area around here so that we can then kill them afterwards. So let me knock out a room around here. Right, so we've knocked out a room here. Um, this is still the drop chute down here. I've just knocked it out a little bit because we're going to replace some of this with glass so that we can see what's going on. Um, if I take those two out as well, like that. So this is where they're going to land on this spot here. Um, what we can do in the future is we can replace this with a, a hopper and a chest, but I will do that afterwards. So what I need to do now is uh, get back, uh -uh, try and get back up, all the way up, keep going, all the way up, up oh, our staircase. I really should have made this out of stairs, then I didn't have to keep jumping. So what I need, uh, we're going to take the uh, hopper and the chest. We've got a dispenser, a uh, lever and a button, trap doors. We'll take that. Um, we might use the ladders, I don't know. I haven't decided, because I've made the staircase, I don't really need to use the ladders, do I? Um, right, I don't need the water anymore, so we'll do get rid of that. And we're going to need the trap doors. We don't need the torches, so we'll take the button. Right, there we go. Right, we're all kitted up. Um, let's get back down here. Right, and we get around here. So here we are going to have, it's uh, in line with this water stream here, we are going to have a dispenser. Now, I can't remember which way I've got to be facing to place this, so let me try it. That's the one. So it, it dispenses out that way, as you can see. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put a bucket of water in there as well. Right. Um, we've pretty much finished with that bit. So I'm going to block this off. So you can see that everything is going to come washing down this drop chute. There we go. It's all blocked off. Right. So we come down to the bottom. Here we are. You can see the dispenser. So we're going to have to cover this up. Now I'm going to use glass this time. Um, simply so that we can see what's going on. Um, and I find it satisfying to see the glass anyway. So we're going to make a little glass chute like this. Now, uh, I might have needed to go back a bit further. Uh, I think I can reach that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create crouch and place a button on there. Now, let me just test it by trying to press the button. And it dispenses the water and floods everywhere and press it again and it stops there we go that's good uh, next we're going to put some trap doors uh, one two three and four so now hopefully if i press the water it comes down and it stops there that's it that's what we wanted there you go. So it doesn't flood everywhere. It just stops here. So this is going to drown our zombies. Excellent. Right. Next, uh, we're going to turn that off again. Like that. There we go. Good. OK, so this, like I said, it can be a hopper. So what we'll do is we'll put down a chest here and we will put down a hopper like so. So this will collect a lot of the drops. It won't collect them all. I will point that out now, and I'll, I'll make you aware of it in a minute. Um, we are almost finished here, if I'm honest. But let me just come up here, because what I want to do, I want to be able to show you this working. So I'm going to replace some of this with glass. Uh, let me get my bearings again. Hang on. It was, I think it's here. No, it's not here. I've lost my shoot already. <laughs> I've covered it up and I don't know where it went. Right, there's the shoot. Right. So it is 1609 and 9. Okay. Let me find it again. I thought it was here. Oh, maybe it's two blocks in, not one block. 
Hang on. Ah, there it is. There it is. Right, I found it. I found it. Stop looking, girls. I found it. Uh, I'm going to put glass here. Like that. So we can see them dropping uh, and so on. I'm also going to put some up. Oh, not there. Yeah, that's right. There. 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 I have to be quick there. There we go. So we then we can see what's going on inside here as well. You don't have to do this. I'm doing this so that you can see what's happening. OK, um, if you want to, you can do, but just make sure it's dark enough in here so that it doesn't stop the spawns in there, you see. Right. So we've got our system. Um, let's go up the top. I'm going to actually break this torch it's just so it's a little bit darker. We've got light down there, so I think we should be OK. Um, yeah, I think I'll be all right. OK, right. We're going to activate the spawner now. So let me just get up to the top. Here we are. Right. So what we need to do is to get rid of these torches, which hopefully shouldn't be too difficult. That one there, that one there. Ooh, that one there. Oh, see they're spawning already. Uh, can I get that one? There we go. Um, oh, it's one on that back wall, isn't there? Oh, good. Right. This is going to be interesting. So I'm going to just make myself a little walkway, just so I can get across here. <laughs> oh, he had uh, golden armour. Oh, Dan will be pleased. There we go, now it's darker. Work my way out. There we are, we're done. Everything is dark. Yeah, so we can block this one up and we should get some good spawns now. Uh, let me drop down here and we'll see what's going on. Oh, look, there's a baby one as well. Fantastic. So it's all working normally. Oh, it just on the edge he was before he dropped. And we can see they're dropping down here and just sitting there waiting for us. Fantastic. Right. So now what we want to do is we want to press that button and that will start the water. So the water comes down here and covers these in water. And obviously these guys are going to drown. But what the water also does, and I'll come up here just to show you, is that it, that water is going down the chute. Can you see? And it's also going that way. So it stops any more spawns from coming down here. So what you're going to have is you're going to have... Uh, you can see them there, look. Hang on, let me... There. You can see them. They're being held back by this water flow. So anything that spawns up there now is a zombie and it's being held back. Anything that's down here is currently a zombie, but not for long because they're shaking already. And what's going to happen is all these will change at the same time. So all these zombies will become drowned in one go. There we go. That's happened already. You see that? So you're not getting zombies and drowns mixed up. You see, they're still being held back. They can't get down here because of the water flow. They're being held back. So what we can do now, first of all, we collected our um, bits of gold armor that that uh, gentleman had because he dropped it straight away. And we're going to get ourselves our... Oh, there it is. Our sword. And with the water still on, we are going to kill these guys. Now, yes, they will take a few hits because they have got their full health. Oh, one of them dropped down. He made it. Oh, why did a little baby one make it? I haven't seen that happen before. That's unusual. So it's going to take a few hits for these guys to uh, to get killed. Ah, yeah, another one's made it. Oh, it's not foolproof. It's not foolproof. I think it's because they're building up at the top there. They're pushing each other down. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, yeah, there's too many up there. There's too many. We can't hold them all back. Look at them all building up. <laughs> right, we might have to make an adjustment to this then. Yeah, okay. I've thought about it already, and I know what I can do. It's something I, I considered doing anyway, and I think it's something I'm going to have to do now. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deactivate the spawner and get rid of these, uh, and then we're going to sort this out. Hang on a minute. Right, 
So here we go. We've uh, deactivated the spawner. Hang on. Let me show you. There it is. Just put a torch on that for one face there, and it stopped all spawns. Right. Um, and I've made a little uh, space in here. Here we go. Look. Everything deactivated. Nothing down here. I've killed, killed everything that was down here, and we've got a lot of stuff already. Look, we've got a couple of tridents and lots of armor. You can already see how OP it is. It is fantastic. But, um, yeah, what I've done, I've made a little staircase up here just so I can get up here and show you. This is the dispenser here that fires the water. Uh, that switches it on, and that switches it off again. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break that one uh, like so. And, of course, that's going to face the wrong way. So we need to go around the other side to place this piston. I think you can see where we're going here with this. Um, I'm kind of hoping that this will do the job. Um, honestly, I haven't tried it, so I don't know. There we go. And I got rid of my glass, didn't I? Yes, I got rid of my glass. There it is. Um, don't need another piston, so I'm going to cover that back up again. There we go. Right. Now, if I come down here, now obviously, I think you'll see where I'm going to go with this. If I fire this now, it starts the water, but the piston didn't stay out. Yep, it's retracted. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to replace the button with a lever. So if I destroy that, crouch, place a lever, that will switch the water off. Switching it on, it's puts the water on and it should there we go the piston is extended so that will hold back the zombies now obviously the baby zombies can get under there so we might get the odd baby zombie getting through it's, there's not much i can do about that unfortunately i think that's as good as it's going to get so i think it'll be okay you know just the odd one getting through won't be a big problem so I'm going to, well, I'll tell you what, let's test it. We'll leave it activated, and I'm going to go up and get rid of that torch so that they start spawning again. I really should have changed these. Uh, right, let me get that torch. There we go, straight away. And we will close this up so that it is more efficient. Now that should hold them back, and it shouldn't matter how many of these um, build up. They should be held back. And you see it's still activated. Even when we're down here, it is still activated. You can see the flame in the in the spawner there. So hopefully we'll get a few more spawning. Hang on. Yeah, see, they're getting pushed forward now. They're getting pushed forward. But the piston's going to stop them from getting any further. Yeah. And we haven't got a baby there, so I think we're okay. But the more they build up, the more they get pushed forward. But they shouldn't be able to go any further. I really don't think they're going to be able to. I think we're going to be okay. I'm going to leave it to build up a little bit more, just so that we can see if a huge number is going to glitch them through. Now, there might be the case, I've just noticed, there might be the case that something that spawns right in this corner could drop straight through the piston that is entirely possible the chances are very remote i think but let's see Well, as you can see, we've got a, quite a few in there now, <laughs> and some more joining the party. Um, and still, they haven't got through. They've really packed themselves in now, like sardines. I still haven't seen one drop down that very corner. So as you can see, it's very seldom that's going to happen. So I don't think that's going to be an issue for us. But yeah, we've got a heck of a lot in there now. So I think what we will do is we'll go down the bottom and we will release the water flow. So this is going to be a bit easier because a, a lever is bigger than a button. So we'll switch it off and they'll come thudding down here. Come on. Ah, hang on. 
There we go. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I think that's one of those um, creative mode glitches with the with the lever. So I'm going to change it into survival. There we are. We're in survival mode now. Um, you can see this is one of my test worlds that I've been uh, I've been using this a lot. There we go. Now it's released them. Look at all that lot. <laughs> now you can see how OP this can get. Now that's happened, like I said, because we cleared the uh, spawner up here. So they're still spawning. Even though there's some down here, they're still spawning. So you can get a heck of a lot. All in one go. Right, so now what we're going to do, we are going to flick the lever. And that should, if you watch, extend the piston and start the water. Good. So now anything else that spawns is going to be held back, as we saw. Um, the water stream helps, and then the piston makes sure that nothing comes down. The water stream also drowns this jolly little lot down here. Um, pretty soon they're going to sh start shaking. About 15 seconds. There they go. Shaking away. You can hear the music in the background. Eesh, 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 eesh. <laughs> and we, you can see the gold armor we've got here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to stand out of the way. And we'll watch. Now... Yeah, there it goes. It explodes everywhere. Now, that is the problem I, I sort of hinted at with the hopper. It doesn't collect everything, because when these guys let that stuff go, it goes everywhere. So you've got to go around and pick it all up. You get the leather stuff as well. Ouch, thank you. That was that little baby one. Um, so, yeah, you can see that this is going to fill up real fast. You are going to need some more storage. There we go. It's all in there. Right. So now all of these are drowned. Every last one of them is a drowned. And at the minute, as you can see, nothing else is coming down. You can see him stuck up there, look. He can't quite get down, which is a shame. So now we're going to kill these guys. Now, obviously, these aren't a one-hit kill. You have to kill them. So it's going to take some time. I'm going to stand here and kill this lot and get a load of XP and a load of drops. I think pretty soon this is going to back up because I don't think we've got the storage here. We're going to need some extra storage. But give me a minute. I'll get rid of these guys and then uh, we'll see what we've got. And then sometimes that happens as well. This is the, the babies. If you're going to kill the babies, you could try and get them uh, quickly. If they float up like that, just come close and they'll go for you. And they should come back down again. Come on. Come on. Really doesn't want to, does he? Ouch. And there you go. Look, you can see a baby villager got through. It got under... Uh, sorry, not baby villager. Baby zombie. It got under the um, piston and got past. So that is going to happen, unfortunately. But um, that's not too bad. We got most of it. And I'll just show you what's in... Uh, nothing in there. It's not backed up. So everything is in here. So we've got a ton of rotten flesh. All this cool... Um, armor that we've got as well. We've got some really good armor here. And did you notice that one drop, that gold ingot? One of them dropped a gold ingot as well. So, yeah, very OP. I wish this guy would stop dancing about. It really is annoying. Are you going to... What, what are you doing? I don't even recognize that dance. What is it? Right, he's dead as well. So, yeah, now they're both going to go jumping about. Ah, oh, very annoying. If you can, possibly, you might be able to get the feet. No, get me though. Uh, oh, uh, I nearly got you. Hang on. Come on. Come on. I got it. I got it. I chopped his toes off. Come on. Come on. Come on. <sighs> that is really annoying. That's one. No, it isn't one. Is it? Oh, it did. Yeah, I got one of them. Right. Let me see if I can get... Got it. Yes. Dead. Uh, knock my torch off the... Uh off the wall I'll put that back there we are right so yeah not without a few um, little problems obviously uh, with, with these guys jumping about but it works really well I, it makes me wonder about putting another piston in but then that would have to be fired separately um yeah I wonder if we could do that if we put another piston in here that we can fire afterwards and it would stop them um, flying up, wouldn't it? Hmm, 
now there's an idea. Uh, where is my... There it is. Don't need that. Um, we haven't got another piston, have we? No. Oh, that's annoying. I only, got, only brought one down with me. Why on earth did I do that? Right. Give me a minute. Right. So I've got myself another piston. Here we go. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to uh, get rid of some of these blocks. We're going to put it there. Um, obviously, we need to be able to get behind it like this. And I need to be able to place it. Now, when I place it, I need to be the other side, don't I? Ah, this is going to be fun. Um, right, so let me see. If I put a block there, and I can place against it. Uh, this could get wet here, but bear with. Cool. We managed it. Lovely. Right. Um, and that's in the wrong place. Excellent. That was good. GG. Let me get rid of that. Put that back. Um, I need to be there. There's where I need to be. So I'm going to have to break this one, that one, place it. There we go. And then glass again. There we are. Right. So now we've got a piston there. And we're going to put a lever on it. So now... Um, when the... No, that is in the wrong place, isn't it? Oh, money, it stops them flying up far. Hang on. If I do that, yeah, it cuts off the water and it stops them flying up, but it doesn't cut off that water. So that's a bit more helpful. Well, I'd better put that one back, hadn't I? Laws of trying to escape. Right. Yeah. I think we're there. That retracts, starts the water again. Lovely. Right. Refined. You see, it's refined on the fly, isn't it? Fantastic. Oh, wow, there's some up there now, isn't there? Right, so let's try this out. We're going to flick that off. Uh, we're in that creative thing again, aren't we? Hang on. Let me... Right. I'm going to... Yeah, extended. Piston is expended. Uh, water is down. So I'm going to go into survival mode again. Like that. Right, we're now in survival mode. Now, if I click that... No, that's, I thought that was a creative thing. It's not. Right, so that stops the water. But it's extended <laughs> the lever now. Yeah, that's, uh, that's... I might as well stay as a button, I think. Wow, look at all that lot. Whoa! I didn't realise that it built up that much. Look at them all! Whoa. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a few down there. Right, okay. So let's flip that over. That could be a button after all. I thought with a lever it, it flicked it once and did it, but it doesn't. So that can be a button. Never mind. Um, this one, I think I prefer it was a lever. We will let these guys die. Um, well, not die. Transform, shall we say. And there we go. They're shaking away. Right, I'm going to get out of the way so we can see the explosion of goodies. Boom! There it goes. Loads of stuff. So, yeah, as you can see, we, you know, <laughs> we've got a hell of a lot of stuff here. Um, I'm going to put another chest down and we're going to get rid of a load of this. Wow, look at it all. That is a lot, even with the leather stuff that you're not really going to use. That's nearly a full chest already. Okay. Right, we've got a sword. So, at the minute... Oh, did that um, piston not go across? Oh, I flicked it a second time and it didn't go... Oh, that's annoying. Right, now, hopefully that is coincided with the piston being forward yet and the water is down good keep an eye on that guys right let's extend this one so now they're all dead in here and they can't fly up that's more like it now we can kill these boys there we go all gone we got a few levels out of that 
Um, we've got some more tridents and some more armor. Wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> another another gold ingot. See, we're up to four gold ingots now. And we've hardly started. We've hardly been using this thing at all. It's amazing. Let me have a look up here um, just to see what these guys are doing. Oh, it's raining. That's nice. See, they, they're still being held back. So we're doing pretty well there. Just the odd one will get through. The little uh, baby zombie will drop through, something like that. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm pleased with that. Right. Um, let me quickly... Um, I'm going to pretty this place up. I'm going to increase the storage. And then we're going to have another go at this. Hang on a minute. Hang on, lads. I've had a great idea. Right, here we go. Uh, here's the final article. I have hand, I've done a bit of uh, tidying up and prettying up and made something look nice. Um, here we go. We've made it a little bit of an altar type thing for the entrance. I've changed the entrance to a uh, staircase. So we can drop down here. If we get out to the first level, we can inspect the zombies that are dropping down for us. You can still see the zombie uh, spawner there active and dropping zombies every once in a while. Every once in a while. Every once in a while. There we go. Thank you very much. Good timing, boys. Um, uh, and it's all dropping normally. Uh, as you can see, I've pretty the place up with some um, mossy stone bricks. And down here, we've opened up the room a little bit so we can see everything that's going on properly. We've put in some storage chests and so we can move things out and put them where they need to go that's all empty nothing in the hopper there we are um i've moved everything into here so we've got leather armor iron chain mail and gold i uh, don't think we'll get anything else we've got the nautilus shells in here you'll get a lot of those you'll get a lot of zombie flesh and you'll get hopefully a lot of gold <laughs> who knows these are these are going to be the random other drops that we get and you also get some weapons triants and shovels occasionally a sword as well if you're lucky um did i see a sword there no i see a shovel i don't see a sword no um anyway so uh this one is a button but it pops back in again so we are going to have to change that back out for a lever because obviously that's how <laughs> leaves work instead of buttons um that suggests that this one is going to do the same thing see the yeah yeah it's gone back in again so it's, it does have to be a lever oh that's annoying that would have been nice if that was a, a button instead of a lever right hang on let me um let me quickly change that Okay, so we've got levers on there now instead. Um, and I'll just show you, uh, that guy's just dropped down. We'll just flick it on. And that switches on the water and the piston is extended, as you can see there. Uh, the next flick will only retract the piston. It won't switch off the water. So you have to click it again, double click, to switch it all off. Like that. So you flick it on, extends the piston and starts on the water. If you're flicking it off, you've got to flick, flick, flick. There we go. And it switches it off again. Okay, so we'll flick it on anyway. And that will drown these little critters here. Um, once they are drowned, we will then extend this piston to stop them flying about so that we can kill them. And then we'll see what we get. And there they go. Right. They're uh, now all drowned, so we're going to flick this one across so that they can't fly about it still holds the other guys back because that's on a separate circuit there uh, and let's kill these guys we obviously haven't got a huge number here but we've got a fair few and we're still within range of the spawner by the way so even being down here it's still active go on go on go on there you go lovely loads more xp uh and just them few look that wasn't too bad just from a few guys like that and then we want to switch it back on. Click, click, click. Down they all drop. And switch this one over. And they drop the rest of the way. Oh, we've got a piggybacker. Nice. Lovely. So it depends, you know, how long you want to uh, let these guys build up, really, as to <laughs> how many you want to tackle. I mean, it can get a bit laggy um, after a while, if you're not careful. So do bear that in mind. If you're playing on a, a mobile device, it's going to cause some problems. Um, 
I wouldn't go too many if I was you because they take a lot of killing as well. So, um, yeah, well, we can't count the legs anymore. There's quite a few in there. Oh, some more chainmail armour. I should have put a furnace down there, shouldn't I? Because then we could start um, burning these up and getting the ingots. Oh, well, nuggets and eventually ingots. Right, let's flip this over and drown them. There we go. And it is a shame that it throws it all over the place. Um, I don't understand why it does that, but um, yeah, that's unfortunately the way it is. So yeah, we'll flick the piston across and then we can kill him. Kill him, kill him all. Oh, did you notice that? That baby that was right in the back didn't change. That's unusual. I haven't seen that before. But maybe that's an issue. Because it was riding a zombie, it wasn't affected by the water. That's that's maybe a bug. I don't know. That's a bit odd. Um, right, well, let's get rid of him. Now, obviously, what you can do with this farm, you could leave it as just a zombie farm if you wanted to. Um, that way you can get rock flesh and the occasional iron ingots, that kind of thing. But it's far more OP as a uh, drowned farm. Because obviously you can see you get 100% of everything that they're carrying. They drop. They drop their uh, weapons, they drop their armour, they drop everything. So you get far more drops doing it this way. But uh, anyway guys, um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, zombie uh, drowned farm lovely stuff loads of drops loads of loot uh, decent amount of XP as well so um, hope you enjoyed it if you have any um, questions please comment down below down there uh, and I will see you on the next one bye bye